Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and I think I need to turn off the hacks. The hacks! Okay, I certainly should do that next time, but the first thing I need to tell you guys is that I have a new video up on Machinima Respawn if you guys would like to go see it, but if you don't want to see it, I'm not going to force you to. It's not going to like, I'm going to sacrifice some sort of small Cambodian child in honor of Mothra if you don't, but the first thing I love to do on this map, you have to own a tree. Just look... Good no scope tree. Oh my god, get owned. And you see, I'm gonna get the bush monster directly in the left ventricle of his heart because I'm that precise. And this guy's getting it right in the dome piece. Ouch. Bro, Chacho, how does that feel? A 50 caliber bullet is approximately the size of a pencil, and that went right through your mouth guard. I'm actually interested to see whether or not soldiers wear mouth guards. I don't think so, but check out the lure. Alright, you ready? I'm gonna lure this guy right into my trap. You ready? Okay, what you do is, it's called ye old lure trick. Okay, you shoot one enemy to lure him in, right? And then they all come running. It's like, come at me, bro, Chacho. Come here, you. And, okay, you put two sticks of C4 down, and skadoosh, and they're both dead. Double kill. And, you see, you just lure him in. Come at me, bro. Come at me, run. Pow, right in the kisser. That's exactly the way you gotta do it. Right there. You just lure him in, lure him in, lure him in. And, you know what the only problem is? I feel bad shooting the Russian engineer because he's got damn pert lips, if you know what I mean. Because his lips are just protruding out of his ski mask. You think you're so cool because you wear a ski mask. But, skadoosh, where's your wall now? Oh yeah, your wall doesn't exist anymore because it's non-existent. How does that feel? I don't know. I wish I always, I always wish that I knew exactly who was behind the wall, like who I killed. And I'm too lazy to go over and look at the body. But what happened here? Okay, I missed my no scope. I get the engineer. Don't look at the T-Rex. He didn't see us. He didn't see us. Don't look at me like that, Bush Monster. Go cry in the corner. I don't want to... I kind of did not perform correctly in that in that room, and that Bush Monster gave me quite the awful look, and I was very offended. But, you see, your spidey senses just tingle, and... Bang! Right through the smoke! You see? I didn't even have to see him. You see, it's just spidey... Put your parachute down, Steve, before you get us all killed. Why would you do that, Steve, man? I know it may sadden a lot of you, but Steve took quite the tumble on Ilan Ascente a while ago. I will discuss that later, but pow, right in the kisser. That two-piece and a biscuit must taste wonderful at this time of morning. I don't know if this morning sunlight on Eureka Harbor is really reminiscent of morning or afternoon. I'm not really a judge of weather, but look at this T-Rex rolling by and not shooting anyone. Way to go, T-Rex! And I might miss the first time, but I ain't never gonna miss second time, ever, bro. And ain't never gonna miss second time, alright? Just to get that clear. And Femur, how does that feel? I love it when people sprint through doorways. It's like, bro, Chacho, clearly you know that there's going to be an enemy on the opposing side of that wall. Why would you sprint through? But look at Steve. Get him, Steve. Get him, Steve. Give me your sandwich. And how did you do that, Steve? Island Ascentes, like last weekend, you fell out of a chopper and like broke both your femurs. How do you even walk anymore? But I guess Steve is just a trucker. He's just a trooper that can just bust through anything. Way to go, Steve. And you know what? Why is the T-Rex still in our spawn? Someone please tell me that. I know a lot of you, you guys just don't give credit to the T-Rex. It's like, Badger, why would you even like the T-Rex? Why? I mean, we all know Godzilla is clearly better. I've said this in the past, but... You know what? They say, oh, bro, no, 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 bro. Okay, well, you see, the T-Rex has really little arms. Yeah, but he's got a head the size of a school bus. You don't need little arms. You don't even need arms when you have a head that functions as your arms. That's just stupid to me. But I'm going to get one, and you see, what you got to do is just got to you gotta be so MLG Pro that you don't do two body shots. You pick out their head. You ready? And bow right in the kisser. Ouch, ouch. That's just, that's awful and something that I really need to clarify with you guys I know a lot of you don't understand this completely but I am NOT playing against noobs okay I never play against noobs like if I was playing against noobs I would have scores so much higher than this I am always playing against esteemed gentlemen and I checked all their stats once this game concluded and they all have about a 3.0 3.5 KD about an 8.0 win loss and about a 500 score per minute so I don't know, it's like clearly, clearly, clearly I'm not playing noobs, right? Yeah, totally not playing noobs. Yeah, they're 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 all MLG Pro, they're all in the pro circuit of Bad Company 2, which doesn't even exist, but for the first time ever, the 1911 actually works for me. And you know what else works for me? Is you see you put down the emotion sensor and this guy's gonna get Oh my god, get no uh, no miss, no scoped. Awesome, awesome, bro, awesome. But you see, I get my sweet revenge because two piece and a biscuit right in the face and 
Enjoy your no scope, catfish. That that engineer, that engineer, those. Th I'm so cool because I wear a ski mask. You know, I'm Russian, man. It's I never understood the appeal of a ski mask, but the way I think about it, look at this. You see, sometimes you just have those spidey senses, also known as emotion sensors. Steve, get out of the way before I pop you in the face. And come in, are you? Come in, are you? Two piece and a. A biscuit! How does that feel, bush monster? You see, but the second guy comes through, and you know what I love to do? I love to li I love to miss about five of my seven shots on my 9 to 11. Yeah, it's my it's America's favorite pastime. Like I love to miss all the Look at this Kung Fu treachery! Look at this Kung Fu treachery! I did not expect him to crouch walk around corners. It just doesn't make sense. It's like last week on Oasis. It's like, okay, let me describe it this way. In America, you destroy Chopper. In Soviet Russia, Chopper destroy you. What just happened? That's that's a great reward for shooting down Choppers. The carcass and or flus. I almost said fuselage, which does not make any sense. Like fuselage uh, does not have a second L. But. I don't know why that happens. It's like the game is supposed to reward you for destroying those helicopters that are so annoying. They're not supposed to crush you into oblivion. I don't get how that works. And that was just a random shot. Like I saw three guys, a little chatty Cathy Gabfest next, next to the broken down bus which contains A and I said, I might as well just take a random shot. Like just like that. I mean that's just random shots. But this is not a random shot, okay? This is this is pure skill. This is like skill that I cooked up in a spoon and I injected into my veins. It's called pure skill. And Pow! Right in the kisser from that far away. Although that was a second body shot. Let's just... Shh. Let's just keep that to yourself. Because I think we all know that pros don't body shot twice. So let's not... Just, shh! Quiet sleep. I don't body shot anybody twice. I only get headshots. Just so we're clear. I mean, it's just like the noob thing. It's like, clearly I'm not playing against noobs, guys. This is just a... Are you joking? I'm not playing against noobs. That's stupid. Like... That guy clearly is very, very aware of his surroundings, and is not a Carl by any means. It's like, I don't know what you guys say when I play against noobs. That makes no sense whatsoever. But, you see, sometimes I hit that guy, and then I was... I think I'm going to discuss the 1911 again. It was, you guys, it's basically a new formula for me. You see, double kill here, but the way that I like to do it is, Come here, you! Two beats and a no-scope biscuit! Fold in half like a folding chair that folds. Feel free. It's it's on the house, bro. There's no extra charge. And, yes, I do want to discuss the 1911 with you guys after I go ahead and arm A here. I, I basically say around 30 tickets. If both objectives aren't even armed yet, then I'm going to have to do it myself. I have to quit being the spawn point. And uh, feel free to hit the tree. Yeah, feel free. And... Nobody uses the UMP-45. Nice one, Engineer. Feel free to run directly away from the MCOM that's armed. So, you might think the joke's on me, but clearly the joke's on him. It's not even secretly anymore. Get him, Steve! Get him, Steve! Steve got him. Check it out. And, yes, we get it destroyed. That's so wonderful. That's so wonderful. All because of Steve. I only armed it. Steve is the real hero here, okay? We can all clarify that. And, pow! Right in your kneecaps, bro! Ouch! Oh, that must hurt so much, but I'm gonna get one guy. Right, right, come here, come here. A engineer again. That engineer got damn, 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 damn pertilips. And, okay, he's gonna get the two piece and the biscuit right in his. Uh, I was going to say mouth, but I said, you know what, that's more so upper cornea of the eye region. I don't know if you guys really agree with me on that. Maybe I might have to get a second opinion. Like, ah, that's more the, the iris. I, I don't think you're correct there. But I don't approve your conduct. Give me your sandwich! And they're... Steve, you go. Fine, I'll go, Steve. That's cool. And get one more guy before I arm it. And this is the tactic that I love. I love this tactic so much. Like, do you even realize how baller this tactic is? I don't think you even realize how baller this tactic is. It's like, I use other tactics, and I just say to myself, you know what, dog, that's not balling to me, but this is balling, you see? Hide in the bush, and I'm also a bush monster, so I'm basically becoming a bush, and that's the best way to do it. Steve got that guy, way to go, Steve, and there's one more guy creeping up here. He's gonna get it right in his shoulder blade, right in your scapula, bush monster. I hope that feels wonderful, and I, I always laugh at the bush monster. I always laugh. I got one more guy. Wow, that's a lot. It's like a sniper, bush monster. You live in a van. You live in a van. I laugh at you so much, but one thing that I really did want to address about the 1911 and the MP443 Grotch is, I'm not really that accurate with pistols. I tend to spam it like, oh my god, I'm about to get shot, oh my god, and I end up spamming it. 
and that's perfect for the garage. Like, I'm not, I'm not much of a, I'm really accurate, I'm going to headshot you with a 1911 type guy. I'm more so of a, I'm going to miss my first, I don't know, 12 shots and hit you with the last five type guy. That's basically the way I go. I like, I like shoot around the room 12 shots, and then I happen to get this by a pure miracle. I hit you with the last five shots somehow. And another thing that I like to address is a lot of you say that I, I, I do something called a that's what she said, and I speak in a lot of innuendo. I really don't, unless it's the innu of the innuendo, in the endo, my Nintendo, okay? Just so we're clear there. And I don't exactly know how this works. Like, okay, I'm strolling around, taking a little bubble bath in this little pond slash river here, and okay, get out my emotion sensor to sense the enemy emotions, whether they're happy or sad, and you see... What doesn't make sense? He was not even shooting at me, but anyways, look, that doesn't make sense. He just killed me with an SVU. I have an M95. That doesn't make any sense. That's not supposed to happen. That's not. It's just like, all right, bro, okay, I'm gonna kill one, but this doesn't make sense, okay? I've got a grand, you've got a USAS, but the joke's on you, catfish, because you can't cannot do a headshot. How does that feel? I don't care how good you are with your USAS. That grand just owned you. Just mmm. It's like that big chunky soup, it's just so hearty, it's like, mm, mm, mm. it's so hearty. But I miss you the first time, not the second time, bro, Chacho. Like I discussed earlier, might miss the first time, will not miss the second time. And, oh, you got damn purdy lips, you got damn purdy lips, two peas and a biscuit right in your mouth. That, that, I think we can all agree that the Russian engineer is very, he's a goofy individual. Number one, he's got damn purdy lips, okay? that protrude out of his ski mask. And like I discussed earlier, I think he thinks that he's so cool because he wears a ski mask. I'm so cool because I conceal my identity and I'm really mysterious. It's like, well, women aren't attracted to that kind, sir. Especially when it's, especially when there's chloroform involved. So, I don't think that is exactly perfect for attracting some sort of member of the opposite sex, but uh, I would not, of all my tips, I would not start out with a ski mask and chloroform. I, uh, it's... Maybe I'm totally wrong, but it doesn't sound like a great idea. And I get some odd requests from you guys. I mean, like, I mean, some. Oh, check it out! <gasps> Boom! That would have been so cool, man. That would have been so cool because quick scoping so awesome. And that's something that I really do want to address. Let's get the guy with the 1911. First time that I've ever hit three consecutive shots in a row. No one knows how that happened because I'm extremely inaccurate. But a lot of you have said, and I know. It's more so when I put videos elsewhere, like I, I remember I put a video up on Quantic Me where you guys said, I don't like quickscoping, and I really am interested. Why don't you guys like quickscoping, as this guy gets it in the face? I, I'm i really interested. I know I asked last guy, or last time, about how, I don't like that Gustav, bro, chacho. It's like, okay, well, if you don't like the Gustav, I understand, but why don't you guys like quickscoping? I mean, it's really similar to shotgun slugs. Maybe you don't like shotgun slugs, but if I can ask you one question, why don't you like quickscoping? And I hear that quite a bit, and... Right in your face. You see, it's just like one or two shots, because I already hit you from a really, really close range, but I didn't quite kill you with the 50 caliber pencil. So, it is a pencil, okay? It's like the size of two pinky fingers put together, which is, it's very overkill. Like I said, killing a spider with a nail gun, very overkill. You should not be using a 50 cal in close quarters. But, you see, here we go. We storm the base, and I get that guy with a 1911 right in, right in your mouth. But you see, they armed it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and rush that. I'm going to rush it. Okay, I uh, somehow got him with the body shot, but that's the glory of the M95. Come here, you. Come here, you. Can't miss the no scope, but I do get you with the ye old 45, okay? And you, Steve deserves a medal. Steve, you are such a good player. I, I don't even realize how Steve doesn't have some sort of no scope. Uh, that's right in the crotchal section. I feel very bad. But Steve, get him, Steve. Get him, Steve. Owned. Give me your sandwich! How does that feel? Steve is just the man this game. Look, he even, he even revived me. Way to go, Steve. I'm just so lucky that I got Steve in my squad. Steve is just the... He is such a good player. He's just the man. Like, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I see a Steve on the opposing side, I say, I'm rage quitting. I don't even want to go against Steve. He's too good. I am not playing in this game anymore. I'm leaving this lobby. You see, look at him frolicking about in this green crate, but come here, you! I'm waiting on you to- BOOM! Feel free to fall straight over, and the nemesis pin that I really hate, because clearly, well, you guys told me about it, and it does make logical sense, you know, the bird of prey capturing the, the snake or the smaller land-dwelling animal, that makes sense. You see, it's like a bird of prey just totally raining down and dominating its opponent on the ground. 
That makes sense to me, but still, I can easily say I like snakes more than birds. It's like, okay, Spencer. It's like, okay, Russian badger. Okay, you can either own a snake or you can own a bird of prey. And I said, I don't need a falcon to little like, like perch on my wrist. I need a snake that can eat a pig or a human being. Like, I don't know about you guys, but when I go, when I go big, I go big. I'd probably get like some sort of anaconda, but we're not talking about just like any anaconda, like anaconda like the movies, like I'm eating a Hummer or I'm eating a semi truck and that's like an appetizer before I eat Jessica Beale or something like that. And you see, the thing is, most of the time I like to come down the right side, but every time it's almost imminent that I just get shot in the face on the right side, so I end up going left side. So I really should just start off on the left side, but it's this, it's this purgatory that I fight with. It's like in between good and bad and owning and being being owned. And I don't know how I just didn't shoot you in the face. Let's try a second time and let's miss a second time. That's, that's wonderful. But in these later stages, I, I like to say that I'm not saying that I, I just get this, this surge of energy near the end, but I, I, for some reason I get really aggressive on this last base, and it most of the time just gets me shot in the face. Like, look at Milos over here lurking in the building. Like, he's going to be lurking there so hard. So I'm going to get Milos right in the biscuit right in the face. I don't know if his face is very reminiscent of a biscuit, but to me it certainly is. Get one more guy, but the engineer, the purdy lips, he got me. Now look, okay, now... I know a lot of you have wanted to hear about this whole Milos business, and you need me to oh, well, do a barrel roll, Bush Monster. Nice one. I'm gonna get one more guy here, and I'm gonna explain this whole Milos business. Okay, it's it's gonna be very, very well, Bush Monster. Why are you hiding? I like your prone position. You're in a really good hiding spot. I don't know why you just vanished out of thin air, but I like your respawn point. Get out of my way, Steve. Get out of my way, Steve. And. You see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Although I completely miss. Like, that's that's embarrassing. Okay. He really he he sent me a little bit of hate mail after this. I'll just I'll just narrate it for you. Okay, he said this to me. I do not like your videos and I do not like you. My name is not Milos. I am Ivan. My brother's name is Ivan. My father's name is Ivan. And my mother's name is Ivan. My sister's name was Ivan. She is now Milo. She brings shame to family and shame to Mother Russia. And then he added, he added this little appendage of, Please excuse me, I must go eat AK-47 for breakfast now. <laughs> I know a lot of you have corrected me. Like, it's... I love it how, how I do the stereotypical... It's totally, completely wrong. I was like, this guy right in the mouth! And I... Like, I know Russian, though, hello, my name is Ivan, my voice goes up and down like this, you see it goes up, and then it goes down like 1890 tank for lunch, and I, I realized that. And you also said that Milos is Serbian or something else, but I'm going to get one, I get popped in the face like a sucker fish with a spaz 12. Hello, my name is Carl, and I enjoy eating buckshot. Now, the thing is... I really, really do find it very frustrating when none of my teammates support me. Like, please feel free to get shot in the face, Carl, from five different directions. And I do realize that a lot of you ask me, why would you choose this gameplay over another gameplay? As I got this guy right in the heart. Ow. I'm pretty sure that actually missed him, but okay. I'm, I'm fine with it. But a lot of you ask me, why would you upload one gameplay over another? And the reason that I chose this one is because on more than two objectives, we got down below 20 tickets. And that makes it a close game which I also performed well in. That's basically how I determine which game I'm going to upload. A lot of, one of you asked me, yeah, can you upload a gameplay where you're getting destroyed by Polish players? And I said, I don't understand why you would want to see that, but you see, I'm not even going to go anywhere downstairs because you see, okay, I'm going to get one. I think I clipped his shoulder blade there. And I might even get a second guy. Oh, somehow I hit the MCOM and not the guy, but I'm going to get you with my 45. Well, then I'm going to get shot. So I go down and prepare yourself, okay, for the greatest decision Bad Company 2 on the Pony Slay Station has ever seen. You ready? Going to spawn right here? I already know that I'm totally owned right there. It's like, why would I do that? It's like when, it's like when people don't jump out of the helicopter when I'm shooting you with a bat. It's like, why would you not, why would you not jump out? Why would you do that? Why? That's how you get quadded. That, that went straight through my head after I made that spawning decision. It's like, why would you do that? But great stock. Great job, Steve. You revived me. I had no scope that guy. And I'm going to go ahead and use my gypsy tricks. I'm going to go in the ye old back door, if you know what I'm talking about. Remember that? 
I don't want to make it sound like this now, because then it's like the innu of the innuendo in the end of my Nintendo, like I mentioned about 10 minutes ago. I don't want to play off the innuendo business that you guys have accused me of partaking in. But you see, there goes my C4, and... Oh, here it goes. Okay. Okay, my C4 is detonated without me. Awesome job, teammates. But it didn't get anybody, but... Quick scope for the win! Yes, 19 tickets, I'm gonna get the last kill. How does that feel? You see, that's exactly the kind of win that I love. Below 20 tickets. You got the guy in the intercom saying, Bro, Chacho, you better hurry up and earn on MCOM or we're gonna lose, bro! And I love it when I win, exactly when that happens. It's so wonderful. But, for the bonus clip, I would like to show you my revenge. It's basically what happens when you lurk in a tank, don't go for objectives and blow up AA guns. So when you support chopper whores, chopper hoeing, here's what happens. Let's just call this, this the revenge of Badger. But I will see you guys next time. Out feeders and abyss vaults. You guys are all the greatest and you're esteemed gentlemen. But don't be a trickster and uh, troll my videos, blocks. But see you guys next time, Out feeders and abyss vaults.